In this video, we're going to walk you through some of the functions that multilocation by TrueBeacon has to offer. Multilocation is all about creating groups and using those groups to effectively manage your employees, inventories, reports, and so on and so forth. So we're logging into an account that we want to have as essentially the root account for this merchant group. And so we've logged in and now we've gone to the merchants tab and you can see there's already a number of groups uh, for this merchant. We're going to create a new group so that we can start from scratch and you can see what the invitation process looks like. So we're going to start out with just uh, myself, uh, the current merchant, as a member of the group. And then we're going to mail an invitation out to another merchant. So you send it to the email that's associated with the root login for that uh, particular Clover account. You push the send button. And then you wait for a few seconds uh, for that email to appear in that other person's inbox. They click on the embedded link in the email, which prompts them to log into their Clover account. And by choosing a particular merchant, if they have multiple ones, then that merchant becomes associated with that particular merchant group. So we log back out, and just to see that everything worked properly, we're going to go back to the original merchant, which was uh, 74 Park Avenue. And this will show that that merchant has been added to the group. It should be New York Hotels. Yep, 74 is me and 77 was the merchant that did the inviting in the first place. And we're going to just bop over to 77 Park Avenue here and confirm that the New York Hotels group has now these two merchants, the same that we just saw from 74's account. Now that you've seen how merchant groups work with multi-location, how to create them and add members, we're going to investigate some of the power of those merchant groups. We're going to do that with inventory items. So here we are logged in to uh, Clover and we're looking at a particular item for a particular merchant. And now we're going to switch over to another merchant. Uh, that merchant has the same item in their inventory. We're in Clover now, not multi-location. We're going to log out, and then we're going to go to multi-location, and we're going to look at those same merchants and see how being in a group allows you to change the uh, price and so on and so forth. So we've logged in, and we're going to pick one of those merchants. Those two that we looked at were 70 and 71 Park Avenue. We just logged in to 70. We're going to go into the inventory tab on the left of multi-location and you see all those items are, are there and the one in particular, Tasty Treat 55, is there. It's part of the hotels group of which both of these merchants are members. And so we're going to switch the price. We're doing this in multi-location now. You can see that the price change shows up in multi-location. We're logging out of multi-location. We're going to switch back over to Clover. And the reason we're switching to Clover is because this is what's going to show up on your Clover station uh, just to confirm that everything switched as expected. So there it is. Tasty Treat 55 has a new price for 70 Park Avenue. And we're going to look at 71 Park Avenue, also a member of that merchant group. And you can see that that price change went straight across over to that other merchant as well. Okay, we're going to look at another feature of multi-location now. And the feature that we're going to look at this time is how reporting works. So we're going to log in to one of our test merchants, Marcy's Coffee Shop in this case. And uh, we're going to pull up the reports tab, which is going to take uh, just a second to load. Once that gets pulled up, you'll see some uh, graphical illustrations of various other reporting functions that are similar to what you find in, uh, in Clover. Uh, so here it is. We're going to change the date range so that rather than looking at uh, months, we're going to be looking at individual days. And now the data is all reloaded for Marcy's for individual days. And you can see how in this case we're seeing sales across uh, each of the days of the week. We're going to now add merchant group A, which consists of one additional merchant. And you can see 
Now the payment information was updated and the bar chart now includes bars for both Marcy's as well as Test Merchant A. And we're going to add Merchant Group B here and you're going to see the bar chart and all the numbers change again. Uh, each of Merchant Group A and B only include one additional merchant, but if they included more than just one additional merchant, you'd see all that there as well. So that's how reporting works in multi-location with different merchant groups. Very powerful.